Disasters. No, no, traffic looks like an overnight disaster. <laughs> no acts of terrorism. I'm sending Ackland out with you today, Carver, because there's been an increase in those handbag snatches around Grove Street, Car Park and Supermarket. Sarge? Well, perhaps they should stop calling it Safeway. Oh, very yeah. droll. Thought it'd be a bit early for your brain. I got well oiled last night, didn't it, Taffy? <laughs> <laughs> Any description, Sarge? What? Are the bag snatchers? It means that they black. Yeah. Any description we have is youths. Assorted. Unlucky, master. And a crocodile bag taken, Sarge. How should I know? What is this? The blacks won't go near crocodiles. That's why, Sergeant. Must be white. Oh, all right, all right. Playtime's over. Go on, off you go to do what you paid for. Wait, 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 wait. Morning, all. Morning, Tony. A memo from the Chief Super. All personnel are expected to attend Sunday's five-a-side football match. This is the last event in our community fortnight and we want to put on a good show. The chairman of the Rotary Club will be present to award a cheque to the boys club. Anything further on that? Yorking? Me, Sarge? Well, you are community officer. Oh, well, Rotary Club's a bit eyebrow for me, Sarge. I only get the Asian shopkeepers action group. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any excuses for absences will be reported to the chief super. And I want you all well turned out to support our brave lads. <laughs> God help them. Go on, off you go. Come on, you yellows. <laughs> Oi, Viv. Help Wallace through to the front office, will you? I would have been quicker to bring the front desk to Reg, Sarge. <laughs> That's not funny, Sarge. Am I laughing? Put oh, yourself in them dark alleys, Jimbo. So you've pulled it last, Junie. Your sense of humour is like your breath, Muswell. Oh, uh, members of the public only this one. Yeah. Sod it. What? They gone, have they? Is it important, then? Yeah, it's about a five a side. Oh, yeah, we had a uh, memo read to us. What memo? Oh, the okay. chief soup, we want to everyone at the match. Mm. Oh, no, 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 this is about a training session tomorrow afternoon. Right. Oh, can I have a notice? You know, none of your lot can read. That's why they put pictures on wanted posters. Uh -huh. They could be around during the day, you know. <laughs> Look, can I call them up on that? What a toy, is it, Mike? Mike? I wasn't being awkward. It's just the game's on Sunday and we've only had one session together. How do you rate your chances? Speaking as an optimist, nil. Huh? With you lot cheering us on, though, we might not be such a bunch of wallies. You are coming, aren't you? Of course. Who is it? Well, Galloway's out already. Oh. It's his day for his daughter. They're going to the zoo. Oh, that's original. <laughs> you bringing the wife and the boy? Nah, he's football crazy. Uh, that's what I want to have a word about. He'll only come if I'm playing. Ah. Any chance of me subbing? Well, it's only a five-a-side friendly, Bob. Yeah. What about a ref? I know the game. The, uh, the youth club's supplying the ref. OK. But if you need a player? Absolutely. We are playing a youth club, Bob. Yeah. Well, kids just out of school. I mean, my lot's only a couple of years older and they get exhausted putting the trainers on. You saying I'm out of condition? Well, there's a lot more running about in a five-a-side. Are you saying I'm too old and out of condition? Oh, come on, no, I didn't Bloody mean that. Bloody cheek! Just because I sit behind the desk all day doesn't mean I'm not fit. I keep active. What, a pint in a game of darts? Yeah. <laughs> Here's a WPC here. He's earned himself a commission. They go for the drug trade. Oh. Do 
I look fit to you? Yeah. Fit to drop, Sarge. <laughs> What's all this? It's the only child. Smarten man. yourself up, mate. Sorry, Dad? You're tired. Don't want officers looking scruffy in court. Sides on a result today. That Eddie Charles is long overdue. Don't worry. That's my middle name. Where's Ted? What's this? This is three days old, dated Monday. I wanted to see this as soon as it came in. We've got a murder sitting in our laps, and I'll be in there doing my crime statistics. A murder? Who's dead? Roach will be when I get older of him. That old tramp on the canal, listen, go in that canteen and get him out. I'll be in there stuffing his face and get me a coffee, all right? I've only been five bloody minutes. You lot want shooting, you know that, don't you? You're like bloody vultures waiting to pounce. Oh, don't give me that. Why aren't you out getting them bloody diplomats, eh? Having problems, sir. I was, uh, just explaining to this Rather woman. loudly, it seems, sir. I'm sure she knows her job. Of course, of course. But I was only five minutes. Five minutes? I'm lucky to get a fast food hamburger in five minutes. Yeah, I may have been a bit longer. You've been overcart by 15 minutes. Yeah, but. Take I the mean... ticket and add it to your household budget, sir, if I was you. This is your car, is it? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, it is my car. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. I must be going. should clamp them all. It's my first week. Oh, thought you were a new face. Canteen. How's it going? A bit early to tell. Nah, don't worry, I'll be around. You want to get yourself some decent shoes? Try Dr. Martin's. TM's? No yeah. thanks. <laughs> Do them in your size. Air soles. Very comfortable. We'll wear them down at the station. You doing anything, Sadie? Working. Sunday? No. Fancy a lunchtime drink? Nothing special, my treat. Do you know the town of Ramsgate Pub? See you there, 12 o'clock. My name's Pete. Helen. Not Rita. Rita? Lovely Rita meter maid. Beatles. Oh, old Mike's got a mutiny on his hands. If I decide to throw in a fit. <clears throat> Don't give a toss. Come here, Ted. Dated Monday. Yeah, well, it only came in Tuesday afternoon. Today's Thursday. I found it on that tip you called a desk. Yeah, well, I've been working on more important cases. I know what you've been working on. This is a murder. Have you read it? Head beaten in, cigarette burns. Yeah, I've read it. I was working towards it. Working towards it? It's a murder. Yeah, over why not? I've got that robbery with violence and that porn with you. Now you've got a murder, which, as you know, takes priority. You know the procedure. You're the one always moaning about not getting on in the force. And then we have a conversation like this. Meaning? Meaning? Photos, interviews, doss houses, hostels. I know the drill. Then what are you waiting for? Wait, I've known of them for years. There was another bloke with... Oi! Little buggers. You all right? I've dropped my fish. Shh. Yeah, but are you all right? Do you want me to get you an ambulance? No, I'm all right. That's my lunch. Are you sure you're all right? A bit shaky. Nothing a cup of tea won't cure. Will you see me home? Yes, of course I will. I'll just have to wait for my colleague to come back first, though. I only live across the road. Right. Down there. Oh, just hang on a second. 
Hey, Jim, what happened? I fell off a blinking wall. They didn't hurt you, did they? No, no, I just slipped over. Better get an ambulance for your friend here. Oh, no, don't worry about him. He's old enough and ugly enough to look after himself. Oh, thanks, Jim. Right, you'd better get you home. Are you sure? Yes, I want to go home. Come on, then. What's your name, love? Wilmore. Mrs. Wilmore. Look, I'd better get down the station. Yeah, get that ankle seen to her. I'll see you later. Bob. Bob, listen, I'm trying to fit a name to this description. A wino is all I've got at the moment. I didn't right now, soon, didn't I? Well, he was a mess before he was banged on the head. Listen, can you get in touch with missing persons and such, and I'll go and have a word with the Sally Ann? I mean, I pay my rates. So I'm telling you, I'll do this. Excuse me, sir. It's a bit more complicated. Right, can you give Ted a hand with that? I'll take care of it. Tom, can you do a search for me? Oh, no. He was hitting the head with a brick or something. Hey, Maybe somebody was trying to kill his headlights. Go to Mr. Butler's discount right. shop in Keel Parade. Oh, Suspected unlicensed yeah. street trader yeah. causing a disturbance. Got a time, Constable? Yeah, our mum's expecting us home for tea. Does your head go right up inside your rat? Watch it. Mr. Butler? Yes. And they went as soon as they saw you. Well, that's all I wanted. You know, it's no good for business. People can't get into my shop. Who are these two involved? Us? We're ex-boy scouts, Dib I don't know. I mean, there was a lot of people. How do I know? They're gone now. That's it. Hard luck, Mr. Plod. Piss off. Oh. Don't bother, lovey. It's been cut off. For how long for? Since I didn't pay the bill. The Social Security are coming tomorrow. They'll get it put back on again. The scullery's through there. Put a saucepan of water on, will you? Right. The gas is still on. Of course I do. I spend it. And a widow's pension, too. Ah, good. I give you a pension and expect you to sit at home saving it up to pay all the bills they're going to send you. That's no, not for me. As soon as I get the money in me hand, I'm off out. Round the bingo. That's where my friends are now. If I ever win, I'll pay a bill. That's why the gas is still on. If your children aren't going to look after you, make sure you die before your husband. Have you got any children, lovey? No. The worth of pain and suffering they put you through. Here you are. Help yourself to sugar. Oh. Work hard enough and long enough, so long as we're able. Shouldn't have to sit around worrying about paying bills when we're old. Make sure your husband leaves you well provided for. It's a lonely life. When you wake up in the middle of the night, it's so quiet. It's the sound of his breathing in bed. He used to snore sometimes, too. Yeah, Jim, if you've trod in something, don't go treading it all in here. I've twisted my ankle. I'm oh, sorry, mate. Yeah. What's happened? I was chasing a couple of jobs, Sergeant, and went and fell off a bloody wall. And you've been to the hospital? No, Sergeant. Look, can, can I sit down? Look, you don't know that much if I can take the weight off it. Look, injury on duty. You've got to go to the hospital. That's going to go in the book, Matt. I thought I'd see the shift out, Sarge. Yeah. Well, do you want me to go out, Sarge? Um. 
No. No, get Sergeant Penny for me, will you? Right. Hey, shall I call an ambulance, Sergeant? No. Uh, Reg, get Jim a cup of tea or something. I told you. I just fell over. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll tell you what, I'll make it up and sweet, eh? That's good for shock and pain. Can you tell Sergeant Penny that uh, Reg, Sergeant yeah. Pine? You've got Sergeant Penny. Oh, Tom. There you are. Great. Uh, Carver, he's just turned his ankle. We'll get him to the hospital. Yeah, he's yeah. going in later. Uh, what are you doing upstairs? No, uh, searching the phone this register. Could Ollis do it? A monkey could do it. <laughs> could. Did you hear that, Reg? Yeah, I did, but uh, I was just going to get some tea for Jim. Could you take care of the duty desk for me for a while? Good. So let's see. That's Carver on comms, Marteller on the front desk, and Ollis upstairs. Upstairs? But, sir. Well, where are you going, Bob? Think of it as a promotion, a sitting down job. On me, I'm going out on the beach. <laughs> oh, all right. Viv. Get hold of June and tell her to meet me back at uh, Grove Street. On right? the beat? Last time you were on the beat, we had uh, yeah, bicycles yes, and yes, fog lamps. right, and Jack the Ripper was on the street. Yes, That's I know it all. Yeah. Uh, remember your green cross coat? Yeah. yeah. Well, what's that all about, then? Menopause, Sarge. Oh, oh all right. Have I caught you? This match on Sunday, it's quite important, you know. It's good PR stuff. Yes, sir. The Rotary Club are putting in an appearance, so the local press. I want a senior officer there. I can't make it myself, unfortunately. Can you? You know, smile, shake hands, that sort of thing. Not Sunday, sir. I'm getting on to publicity. This is sending a photographer along. I can't make it Sunday, sir, unless you cancel my weekly leave. Oh, no, of course not. I would appreciate it, though, Roy, if you could rearrange things just for the afternoon. It's very important that we put on a good show, both on and off the pitch. I'll see what I can do then, sir. Good. I knew I could rely on you, Roy, in this action. I hear Dashwood's doing a good job with the team. What you got? A uh, lingering smell, not much else. Not the rest of the day, eh? Anything up? No. Just got to go to this football match on Sunday, which cocks up all my arrangements. Uh, looking forward to going to the zoo, eh? Well, you know me, Ted. I like looking at things behind bars. Listen, it should be over by four. Why not change the times about a bit? Easier said than done. Hello, Sarge. To what do I owe this pleasure? I'm uh, breaking in a new pair of socks I got for Christmas. <laughs> uh -huh. No problems? Not bad, snatching. No, not sorry. Good. Always was the best way to keep crime off the streets, to be seen. Well, in the good old days. In any old days, June. No good to the public if they don't know you're around. Uh oh, I think somebody's lost. <laughs> what do you want? Sorry? Tower Bridge. Oh, Tower Bridge, yes. Um, Tower Bridge. That way. Um, Tower Bridge. What number bus? 56. 56. Bus. bus. Yes. Bus for Tower Bridge. 56. Yes. I don't think they understand you. Alright, well, you try it. See what your Japanese is you like. You need to take a 56 bus to get to Tower Bridge. Oh, Do you okay. understand? Oh, yes. Tower Bridge. Yes. Okay. You want to take a photograph of it? Yes. You could be famous. Oh, you want me to take it? Oh, you show me. Oh, fine. Oh, that's a shame. What do I do? Uh, you can find it. Oh, I see. That's ready. Hi, right, Sarge. Yes, smile. hurry up, June. We'll become a permanent fixture. Oh, well, smile. This is a smile. Oh. Well, I was hoping it was going to be a surprise, but uh, it can't be because I'm going to have to meet you there now. <laughs> the zoo? Oh. All right, then where? Covent Garden. you want to go shopping? <laughs> uh, four, no, actually, 4.30 would be great. I see. I'll see you on the Cheers. up, Pete. Might never happen. Yorkie, how's it going with the kit? Sports in a football secretary. Yeah? What did he say? Division's laying it all on. Shirts, shorts, socks. Good. Well done, Yorkie. Who's replacing Carver? What's happened? 
Twist twisted my ankle, mate. Oh, great. Gonna be okay for Sunday? No, Joe, I'm going down to the hospital now. Oh, bloody great. The best player we've hey, got. Hey, Mike, Sergeant Cryer's looking for you. Yeah, I bet he is. Look at right, having an older oh, man. Right. 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 Makes a change. Sergeant Cryer, are you? Yes, I know. How's your back, Hollis? Oh, it's funny you should ask. It's just late. Let me get it. Yeah, what is going on? Hey, you all right for running for the hospital, Jim? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Bob Cryer was in here. Yes, I know. He wants to be in the team. That Pratt Carver's fallen over. What's wrong with him? Oh, he twisted his ankle. Not Carver, Cryer. Too old. Well, it's not the England squad, is it? He's a fit kids we're playing. They're all out of work, so they've got nothing else to do but play football. I don't want Cryer croaking it on the pitch. Yeah, well, Galloway's coming. Maybe you can get him to play. No, thanks. Amongst all his other pet hates, is football. What changed his mind? People in high places. How are you getting on? Hmm. I've got a name. He did a night in the hostel. Henry. Oh. Well, that's a start. They've normally only got nicknames like Pongo or Paddy. Yeah, well, this one has as well. King Henry. Ah, oh, blue blood in his veins, eh? Not blood, make myths. How'd you get on at court, all right? Eddie Childs, acquitted. What? The judge ruled in favour of the defence. Circumstantial evidence. But I thought you had it sewn up when you nicked him. Result of a tip-off. I wasn't going to bring my snout into court. I can't do that. But what about the van load of housebreak and the equipment he had on him at the time? Tools of the trade. His trade. His employer vouched for him, said he needed them for work. Employer? He hasn't done a day's work in his life. You've been well and truly stood on your head, Mike. And you know why? All that football business, punting around with that. The chief super asked me to take charge of the five-a-side. Why? You're not a community officer, are you? I thought you joined the force to be a cop and not a bloody PT instructor. Get it sorted out, Mike. Well, it's just a sprain. Yeah, they bandaged it, but uh, I don't think I'm on for Sunday, mate. Look, I'm really sorry. End of the affair, is it, Jim? Mm, talk about flavour of the month. No, I'm yesterday's man. Well, it is a high of activity in the geriatric ward. You can't blame us if it's quiet, Sarge. Have you been to see the CMO? Uh, no, Sarge, why? Because I've had enough of your back. Why don't you get it checked out, a full physical? You never know, there might be something really wrong with you. But, Sarge, I'm not swinging the leg. Well, then let's find out. Because if there is something wrong with you, you're no good to me and I'm getting you transferred. What, upstairs? Yep. We're having a lift put in. Hey, Jim. They're not putting in lifts, are they? Okay. Oh, listen, I just wanted to pick your brains, actually. I seem to recall a nurse or someone who used to treat these derelicts. Nurse? Oh, Sister Bullen. Yeah, she's got a place at Allgate. That's it. Bullen. Buzz the London Hospital. They'll have her address. Yeah. They refer down and else. Yeah, OK, mate. Thanks. Cheers. Nothing else for me, then? <laughs> Sergeant Roach, Sunhill Police. Pass me those scissors, Detective Sergeant, please. There you are, Tony. Now you come back in ten days, right. and I'll take them out for you. <laughs> Take 
Now then, what can I do for you? I do have patients waiting. I believe he was referred to as King Henry. He was found with his head battered in. King Henry. Henry. Yeah, he's about five foot ten, blue eyes, big scar on his stomach, age about 60. Henry. King Henry. Wait outside till this gentleman leaves, please, Ben. You keep files on all the winos, then? Medical files, yes. Contrary to common belief, though, they're not all alcoholics. Several of these men and women have severe physical and mental disorders. Mm. Henry. Ha! Ah, Finlay. Ah. Henry, I'm sorry, Finlay. Known as King Henry. Age 58 years. Widower. He came to me twice, once in November 79 and then in March 1980. First time for cuts and bruises, second time broken fingers. I haven't seen him since. Yes. The scar was a war wound treated in battle. Yes, I remember that. Very badly attended to an ugly scar. Finley. So, war wound was in the army then? Yes. Hmm. Very few of these people were born down and out, Mr. Roach. They did have lives before. Oh, yeah. yeah Is there an address? Yes, a local one. 7 Jugman Street. Jugman Street. Now, you say you treated him for cuts and bruises and broken fingers. You qualify then or what? I am a nurse practitioner, Mr. Roach. I served in Africa for ten years where the nearest doctor was five days' walk. So, yes, I can treat external injuries and cuts and bruises and broken bones. Now, I have a patient waiting. Oh. Oh. Sorry about that, Pete. Sorry about what? You're not leaving the force, are you, Pete? Oh, oh, never. I've got too many friends here, haven't you, Mouse? I watch it. His mother's unwell. Oh, sorry. You two are coming on Sunday, aren't you? Miss it for the world. Give me a chance to ogle your legs, I. June? Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, come on, June. Most of the rest of us are going. Anyway, you can't spend the whole of Sunday moping around by yourself. Who says I mope around by myself? She. Of course cool, she doesn't. Who's a lucky girl, didn't you? Get stuffed. <laughs> I better get off. <laughs> See you guys later. See you. Hey, what's all this then? Ah, oh, it's nothing. Got the keys. Oh, we need another flipping injury. Eh? What's up with your mum, Buzz? She's confined to bed. Gotta go see her on Sunday. Oh, is that what the money's for? I thought you were just gonna piss it up the wall. Wait, what's the matter with the leg? That's nothing. Did you ask Buzz well to play? Yes, he can't make it. Carver's out. Hollis is no good. The worst thing is your governor wants to play, and of course he's too old. Well, if you've tried the cripples and the OAPs, why not give the women a chance? What? The police force is supposed to be an equal opportunities employer. They took me on. Martella was a good netball player. Martella? Well, it's down to you, the skipper. <clears throat> All set. You know, if we win this game, we're not into some sort of league, are we? No, no, no. It's, it's a one-off, kickabout. Ah, that's it's what I've been saying point. all the time. Martella. Could I have a word? No. Oh, yeah? Dashwood's on the pull again? No, nah, Viv's not his type. It could be something else, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you short of cash? Well, we'll get paid next week. Yeah, well, your mum's not going to want to wait till next week, is she? Not if she's stuck in on her own. How much do you need? I think we'd be good. Mm. You sure? Mm, thank you. Thanks. Mm. Look, I was up in front of the chief super about it. <clears throat> you know this is one of his uh, community projects? Yes. Well, he wants a WPC in the team. The police force is an equal opportunities employer. He thinks we should show that in everything we do. So he gave me a bollocking, a telling off. 
for not offering a place to a female member of the squad. Will you do it? Yeah. Thank you. Practice this afternoon. I'll need it. I'll let you get back to your break. I bet you look wonderful in shorts. Finish book then, are we, Viv? No. I'm in the team. Goalie. Goalie? Yeah. <laughs> Good discount shot kill for Amos. See a Mr. Butler. Over. That's him. Lippy blokes back again. Sarge, Muswell wants back up. All right, uh, Reg, Reg, get Sergeant Penning to take a van down to the shopping parade. Let's Has anybody start... got the latest data Z? Huh. There was a coat in here just now, we've it didn't seem to do it much, but... What have you lost? Well, I've got an address for our tramp, Jugman Street, but I can't find it in mine. No, well, you wouldn't, would you? I knocked it down years ago. Yeah, it's one of those modern complexes now. Oh, bugger it. I thought I had something going. What, did you get a name then? Yeah, Finlay. Mr. Butler? Henry Finlay. Samuel Police Station. Uh, there's an officer who's going to see you, though, um, Would you assist him by opening the rear door of your premises? Billy Excuse Murray's mum used to live there. Ruby. Ruby Murray. It's Not the Ruby Murray. Murray. No, no, no. The other one. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Well, he'll explain that when he gets there, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. The officer will be there shortly. Get Reg on the RT for me. She said she in the yard. Yeah, she lived there till they knocked it down, then they rehoused her. One from Sarah Oscar. Yeah, she should know something. Other? She was a regular Mrs. Shufflewick. When I knew her, she used to run a fruit and veg stall in the old market. Anyway, leave it with me. OK. Reg, I want you to get Sergeant Penny to go round to Billy Murray's fruit and veg shop in Grove Street and ask him where his mother lives now. Still here, sir, are they? Yes. <laughs> oh, your PC muzzle. That's right, sir. As clean as can be. Oh, fuck. See your trader's license, please, sir. <laughs> Does it look like I've got one? No. Oh. You're under arrest. Ah, oh, for what? Causing an obstruction oh. to start with. All right, clear off. Shop's closed. You two better get home for your tea. We're going to see you later. What have we got, Muswell? Oh. All right, come on. Yeah. All right. All right, come on, Alice. Oh, come on, man. Come on. I reckon they got that lot on tick, sir, don't you? Just for that, you can nip up, nip up to Murray's and ask him where his mum lives. Say Sergeant Cryer wants to know. Yeah, right you are, Sarge. That's called having time on your hands, Mark. Still leave it out, Sarge. You mind? Well, I like Dashworth's latest idea, Bob. Sir? Huh? WPC Martella, having a woman in the team. Good for all concerned. Shows the force is progressive. Yes, sir. Finley, with an A. Put something for you, Roy. We've got enough on that plate today, Bob. Oh, very nice. Christmas toy, is it? <laughs> One Timothy Dart. He's in the charge room. Says they're not stolen. Anything on the property index? We're getting that checked out. Now, yeah, Ted. Ruby Murray. She should have Dart, charge room. Lovely. I'll go and see it. Thanks. Yeah, Martella's in the team. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's good for the image. Don't worry about it, my love. Honestly, I'm it's all sure right. It's here somewhere. Everyone from Judgment Street. It was a street party. Listen, don't worry about it. It's no, all right, I'll find honestly. it. I'll find it. It's a, it's a lovely photo. Listen, what happened to him, Henry Finlay? What happened to oh, him? Oh, he went bonkers, didn't he? It was terrible. What, mad? Yes, completely. After his wife and daughter were killed. Ah, here it is. <laughs> oh, that was a night for us. <laughs> yeah. Look. There's me. Yeah. And I'm sitting next to Mr. and Mrs. Finley. Yeah, that's lovely. That's lovely. Listen, <laughs> tell me what happened to them, the wife and daughter. It was an accident. Gas leak. Uh, he was working nights. Oh, yeah. Came home, found them both dead. Well, that's enough to send anyone around the bend, isn't it? Yes, yeah, certainly oh. is. There was talk of him getting some sort of uh, money, you know. What is it? Well, compensation. Yes, that's it. But I don't think he ever did. Kept telling everyone he had, of course. Oh, but he did let himself go. The house stank. Mind you, they all stank before they knocked him down. <laughs> he was always going on about buying his house. <laughs> then he was going to buy up the whole street. <laughs> but I don't think he had two hatens to rub together myself. King Henry, they called it. King? <laughs> but um, when the bulldozers came in, he upped and opped it. Someone reckoned they saw him a few years ago. 
But uh, I think he's dead. He is. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, poor soul. Still, I expect it's all for the best. More tea? Uh, no, thanks, no. I've got to be going. Listen, could I borrow this? I'll make sure you get it back, all right? Yes, yes, you have it as long as you like. Thank you yes. very much, my love. That's well, it's been nice talking to you, dear. Yeah. I don't get much chance of a chat <laughs> stuck up here. <laughs> and mind you say hello to young Bob Cryer for me, will you? He's Sergeant, now, Sergeant Cryer. Oh, Sergeant, eh? Yeah. Oh, God, doesn't time fly? All I ever get to see up here are bleeding clouds. Yeah. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do than sit here talking to you. Where did you get her? I told you. Like Yes, Gough. Don't get too excited, they're fakes. Fine. Flash plot faces, cheap innards. Good enough to fool the average punter, though, till they stopped. There we are. Start him off on criminal deception. Right? Yeah. So, you bought him in the pub with your redundancy money and started knocking him out in the high street. Yes, that's what I said. I believe you. Now, you'd better believe me. You're going to wish they were stolen because they're fakes. Counterfeit. That's fraud. Criminal deception. Yes, but I... Now, these big-name companies don't like their prestige label goods being copied and then sold off as the real thing. They're likely to come down heavy on offenders. Now, you're one. Who else? Anyone with him? Two others. We'll have their names, won't we? Sorry, Tim? Yeah, almost. Except who did it. I think we're pissing in the wind with this one. Motive? Money. Did he have any? Nope, but he told everyone he had. When they demolished Jugman Street, he became a wanderer with tales of wealth. Hence King Henry. So somebody believed him. Burnt him with fags and bashed his head in. You all bastards. Any idea who? Huh? Well, not much chance now. He's been dead in very six weeks. Stop. Did our best. Yeah, another statistic, eh? I've got a couple of bodies to pick up. I need a warrant. Get on with it. Ted, I don't suppose you could give us a hand, could you? It's just I've got this training session uh, lined up. So where is he? Dunno. Have you seen Muswell? No. Are you gentlemen from Shanghai Police Station? Yes, that's right. Ah, my name's Turner, Rotary Club. Oh, I was waiting. Sergeant Cryer, this is Sergeant Penny. Mr. Turner. Uh, ah, and you must be Inspector Galloway. No, that's Detective Sergeant Roach. Uh, this is Detective yeah. Inspector Galloway. Oh. How do you do, sir? Are you in charge, Mr Galloway? Uh, well, not as such, but I'm the senior officer here, yeah. Good, good. Perhaps you can help. The local press man, Eric, is here to take a few snaps. <laughs> I've got this check to present, and I wonder if we could do it, the uh, presentation and the photos, before the game. See, I've got another pressing engagement. Well, you know how it is. One's time is on one's own. Oh, so he's here. I couldn't make them meet. One of the kids... Oh, no excuses. We're just glad you're here. Yeah, Cryer's been volunteering all the way here. I'll go and change, boys. Uh, yeah, the ladies are through here. Uh, I'll come with you, Vic. Uh, no, it's OK, Yorkie. I won't look. I might, and I might be disappointed. Oh, come on, we're late. Well, Viv, come and get your kit. Oh. We've lost before we've started. No, no defeatism. Tony, give out that script. What do you want about it? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Forget it. Come and get your kit, Taffy. 
No, it's all right. I'll wear this. It's my lucky shirt. No way, Taff. Look, remember, we're not here to win, but we're not here to lose either. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Ask the super. He said it. Mm. Check. Is that, is that okay, good? that's enough, isn't it? Oh, do you all right? I don't know. Is that all right for you? Um, yes. is, is, that, is that all right for you? I think we'll tell them. Yes. You've got enough there? Yes, yes. that's good. You're sure? Yep. Right. Oh, thank you, Mr. Galloway. Right, thank you very much. Right. Lovely. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Oh. This is better than watching paint, right? Mm, just about. I might as well love it. I think he's at the United Nations. Here, August. Get in there and see if they're a man short, will you? No, you, you better go, Bob, just in case they are. No, oh, no, no. I'm here as a supporter. Dead man's shoes, more like. Oh. Somebody get in there. It's, it's already quarter to three. Still in the zoo, is it? No, I couldn't go on. Oh, that bloody place. Got all that street theatre stuff and clowns juggling balls. I'll be juggling dashboard problems in a minute if we don't hurry up. <laughs> That's a great start. And Dashwood's lost the toss. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not a question of who says that, it's a question of transport. We need your car, you know, the squeeze is getting it. I know, the squeeze is getting back there, wasn't it? I'm off. A kid could play better than this. I'm glad I didn't bring him. the only card you played, Sarge. Yeah, well, that's because he's got faith in the old man's ability. Come on, Dashwood, show some of your grammar school brilliance. <laughs> Come on, Abe, whose side you on? Oh, get up, yeah. Taffy, you great lump. Yeah. He may have injured his back. It's easily done, you Yeah, well, know. don't let's talk about it. Does that mean extra time? Nice one, eh? Uh, start off, eh well. Don't start giving me your chief super speed about community relations. Oh, you and no. I both know this is not proper police work. Yeah, but whatever way you look at it, you won't be out of uniform, but we're still coppers. And we're still supposed to be a team. Like this lot out here, look. Look, I've done my senior office a bit. I've got an appointment. We've all got better things we could do today, haven't we? Yeah, well, I'm doing mine. I'm off before the end. Oh, well done, Abe. Oh, Abe's we, getting back to his roots. We could have scored then. Which half is bloody useless. I could play better with one leg. You're not playing, are you? Well, that's the point. I mean, if this game goes down the pan, I won't get another chance, will I? Bloody chaff. Press your numbers. Oh, yeah, better, Tom. Edward was a horse that had shot him by him. Now you're going to see what he had for his breakfast this morning. Well, you've woke up then. Chuff is playing like a bloody woman. Yeah, so is Vin. Well, don't mind that, but she's not playing in my position, is she? Come on, Abel, you're playing for them or us. Yeah, Jim, these seats are really uncomfortable, aren't they? How about a wager on the game? I bet we lose. Yeah, but by how much? Tell you what, everyone get a quid out. 
Write your name on it. What do you think the score's going to be? Put it in the app. How about it? It's illegal, that, defacing that. Ah, yeah, and I've only got pound coins. Yeah, well, you would have. Yeah, I've got change. Come Who's got on. a pen? It's scribbling. Yeah, there must be able to circulate yeah. soon anyway. The dream. 17 mil. Let Nelson Mandela right through the middle. Where's the defence? You've been drinking, Miles. Why didn't you say that? I need a piss. I think Taffy's dying. Mm. He's dead. Give him a medal. <laughs> Send him home with full military honours, eh? Do you want a game, Serge? I was. It doesn't do for one officer to deride another. It's only a bit of fun. Yeah, we'll leave it in the station. They can take it. I'm not saying he can't. It's the rest of us. Come off it. You're here as a supporter, not as a critic. We've got plenty of those. You're a police officer. You've put on a uniform, which means that you leave your personal prejudices and your politics out of the job. Not wearing a uniform, Sarge. Don't rock the boat in public. And don't let me say it again. Disturbing sight? No. No, all done, Roy. Good. Pain in the arse sometimes, these things, eh? Yeah, sure. You want to listen to him, though? What? Definitely, we've got one to run this time, boys. Do you think you're playing at? You play like a bloody twat out there. I could do better with one leg. Yeah, well, you're welcome, mate. I thought it was just a kickabout. He's trying not to kick you about. <laughs> you off? Yeah. Get him a drink on me, all right? Look, Bob, I don't care if you approve or not. I've spent some time here, and I want to spend some time with my daughter. Maybe if I'd have done it this way, I'd have... I still have a marriage, all right? Yeah, all right. I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you all right. What are you looking at, Jim? What are those two? I thought I recognised them. They're trainers. <laughs> you can't recognise a pair of trainers. No, those two lads that did my ankle in, they were wearing trainers. Oh, you were nowhere near them at the time. You fell over. I was still down to them. Come off it. Yeah, you're right. I'll end up like bloody muzzle. No, you won't. You don't owe me money. Did you see his face when he didn't win the raffle? <laughs> yeah, great, <wasn't> <laughs> Especially as it was his idea in the first That's place. Right. <laughs> Five two. What did you expect, your bloody birdie net? Wasn't my fault. No, it was the chief supers for insisting. Bloody women's lives. Yeah, by the way, where is she? Having us by a string, where else? Well, you should know about that, June. When was the last time you were kept waiting by a man? Well, shouldn't answer that, June. It might be incriminating. Yeah, I might embarrass you. What are the arrangements? Oh, Mr. Roach has found a uh, public house to go to the uh, Crown and Scepter. I know it. Did the last owner for receiving. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> June, you coming with me? Yeah, all right. OK. I'll wait for Viv. OK. Hey, who won the raffle? Well, who do you think? Bloody Ollis. Oh, not Ollis. Old misery guts. Yeah. What is it now, then? Deep eat rub all round. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. 5-2, eh? How are you ever going to live it down? Viv. A woman. Best excuse a man can ever have. <laughs> <laughs>